Well, I just put the new grill on, and that looks awesome. Now I'm ready to tackle something much more ambiguous, which is adding, Shammy, get out of this truck. Go on. What are you doing? How did you even get out here? Shammy, get in the house. All right, a much more ambiguous project, which is adding power locks to all four doors of this truck, which have no power locks. I bought a little kit, and I don't have the highest coats. This is the first time I'm seeing it. It's $25, and you get four universal door actuators, the brain, and key fobs. Let's see how the key fobs feel. Honestly, not that bad. That's actually impressive. So I guess the gist is, you take these, and then this is the brain that goes underneath the dash, and then this. This is the fun part here. You gotta run a wire to all four, two wires to all four doors. These should pull in and out, yep. And for instructions, that's it. Half of the instructions are how to use a car remote. I think we understand that. And then the other half is just a, di a diagram. Okay, well, I guess let's get the doors off. Driver front. I'm just lift it up. Gotta get this off. Which I'm assuming you just pull off. According to YouTube, take the rag, drag down. And his just popped right off. Let's see what that does. And now it just like pops right off. Look at that. And we've already got new speakers. Nice. Don't want to take off more than we need. I believe we're just going to put our motor right in here. And this comes across here. Somehow, maybe like this. That makes a little more sense, maybe. We got it all figured out. Okay, I got the first one in. That only took, I don't know, five minutes. It was not hard at all. And actually, if I'm being honest, it was kind of fun to figure out how to bend everything to work. So basically, I don't know if you're going to be able to see in there. Let me put you in here. Don't drop the camera inside. Uh, you have a little attachment coming from the rod to the lock itself with little set screws to lock it in place. You're just going to bend it around until it gets somewhere that you can use. And the hard part, of course, is keeping it out of the way of the window. This lock is going to be interesting because it's a completely different setup. It actually goes vertically this way and then up. Oh, we can even attach it here behind the speaker. It'll be nice and easy. Oh yeah. A little bit of a hiccup here. The door jam uh, wiring harness isn't just rubber on both sides. It's actually got a connector that does like the door ajar button or switch. So I gotta figure out how to get some wires through here. Look at that. One. I can't even see it myself. I'm sure you can't, but it goes in there and snaps in. Just about ready to finish everything up here, but I noticed that I ran my wires on the wrong side of the seat belt. I need to be able to zip tie them over in, uh, up against this so that the seat belt doesn't interfere with them. Oh, this is painful. These locks seem to draw quite a lot of power, so I'm gonna run the main 12 volt lead direct to the battery. Right about there, I think. Ouch. Here it is. Got it. With any luck, we have a lock. Beautiful. Unlock. These window cranks are much easier to put on. You can just push, push it on and it locks right on. Decided to probe these two little wires that were left open, the brown and white, because I assumed they were for locking and unlocking with a switch. And look at that. Which means I can add a little switch here in the center console so that you can lock and unlock the doors with a switch rather than having to use the remote or the door handle. So here's my switch installed on the panel. 
Just cut a hole out with a utility knife. And I just gotta wire it up to ground and we'll be done. Here we go. Ready to test it in three, two, hopefully lock. Yeah! Check it out, unlock. Well, it's been a week and they're still holding up. So super cheap, but isn't that nice? Locked, can't get in, unlocked, right in the door. So excited to have this done, especially with a kid. It was very difficult if we were loading Hudson on the other side. You'd have to come here, unlock this one, reach over, unlock the passenger door, walk around to the passenger door, open that one, reach to the back, unlock the back, unlock, put him in, close the door. And then when you get a place, you don't even lock the truck because to lock all four was annoying. So it's done, it works awesome. I did take the time to hook up the uh, parking lights. So when you lock and unlock, it flashes the lights. Oh, my switch, also working great. Got my little switch up here. If you lock, lock, unlock. So now you can lock and unlock. You can lock with the key fob. You can unlock or lock with the driver door, and it does. So this is locked, locked, pull up on this one, unlocked, like that. Or you can press the switch, and we're good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.